The main reason why people use hearing aids is to hear better in background noise. And the fitting software is the most important tool you have to make sure that the hearing aids are properly fitted to each one of your clients. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a first fit with Resound Smart Fit. And we're going to use the latest version 1.16. And you will see how Resound Smart Fit is designed to give a fully personalized experience to your clients, with particular focus on enhancing speech clarity in background noise. If you are new to Resound, this video will give you the confidence to navigate through the software quickly and without effort, so you can start doing great fittings in no time. Let's have a look. In this example, we are going to program hearing aids for a fictional character. And it's always difficult to find names for imaginary people. I, I don't want to write test, test, like we all do. You know what is the most common name in Hollywood movies? It is actually Jack. And the most common surname is Smith. So here you go. Jack Smith is going to be the name of our patient. By the way, some of you say patients, some of you say clients, depending on where you are in the world, and that's totally fine. We're going to assume that Jack Smith has a mild to moderate hearing loss, as you see here. And we're going to fit him with the new Resound Omnia Mini Re, which is a new uh, receiver in the ear model, part of the Resound Omnia family. And this has become one of my favorite hearing aids. Uh, it is uh, rechargeable, it is super small, it feels great on the ear, and most importantly, it has an almost unbelievable performance in noise. And for this example, I've chosen a pair of uh, medium power receivers. These are the SureFit 3 receivers, and I really like them because these uh, receivers are automatically detected by the fitting software, which will save you a lot of time and will make your daily fittings so much easier. Let's open the fitting software. This is the first screen that you will see when you open the fitting software, and it consists of three sections. In section three, you see the audiogram of your client and which hearing aids are currently assigned to this person. Now, as, uh, as this is a first fit, there are no instruments assigned, and we need to do that either manually in section one or automatically if you already know which hearing aids you want to fit in section two. Here, you can see the current resound portfolio and it is arranged according to price points. If you are new to Resound, here you have search and filter options that can help you to find the hearing aid you are looking for. In our case, the model I want to fit is the Resound Omnia 960, is this one here. So I can assign this hearing aid to both ears and now here they appear. And here I have all my different power levels of the receivers. And the one that the software recommends, it is indicated with this ribbon icon that you see here. So in our case, for Jack, the fitting software recommends a low power receiver. Now I've chosen a medium power receiver because uh, I want to show you what happens with the feedback calibration and I want to have a, a receiver that allows me to give more power. To be honest, um, I don't normally use this section and, and that's because when you get a bit of experience with Resound, you immediately know which hearing aid fits best the needs of your clients. In my case, I knew that I wanted to fit the new Resound Omnia Mini Re, and for that, I can go directly to section two. Here, we can specify what is our programming interface. In our case, I'm using uh, NOAA Link Wireless connected to the computer through a USB cable, and I, I love wireless fittings. I think they are so much easier and faster. I and mean, you program hearing aids with cables, your patients feel like Frankenstein attached to a machine and they cannot go anywhere. With wireless fittings, your clients are free. And something that I like to do is to ask them to stand up, go for a walk, uh, listen to the real world with their new hearing aids, and then come back and continue with the fitting session. So to connect the hearing aids to the fitting software, this is the button that we have to use. And that's what we're going to do now. How do you connect something that has no cables? Well, it's very easy. Uh, what you have to do is to switch the hearing aids on. One of the first things the hearing aids do is to look around for friends who want to connect with them. And they will do that for two minutes. So I take the hearing aids out of the charger, click, connect. 
And here they are. This is like searching for Wi-Fi. On this panel, you will see a list of all the heating aids that are in range, and these ones are mine. Now, note how the software knows which one is for the left and for the right ear, and that's because we are using the SureFit 3 receivers. But if you want to make sure that your heating aids are correctly identified, you can also beep them. For example, this one, like that. Now I can assign heating aids to the left and to the right, and you are ready to continue. But let me go back, because I want to show you that if you see this hand icon here, it means you can also connect very easily with the push button of the heating aids, which is super fast. I click on the push button, and now both heating aids are connected. Now click on continue, and both heating aids will be programmed according to the audiological profile of your client. This part is important. We need to tell the software which dome we want to use for this person. If in doubt, the software can recommend a particular dome based on the audiogram of your client. And again, it is shown with this ribbon icon. In our case, I'm going to use a tulip dome for the right ear and an open dome for uh, the left ear. And this is just to show you what is the impact of the dome in the fitting software, okay? So I will select a tulip dome in the right ear and an open dome in the left ear and I'm using a medium size. And now I click on continue. The next step is the feedback calibration. And this is one of the most important steps during your fitting session. You will be surprised to hear how many heating care professionals I've met all over the world working with different brands who are not calibrating for feedback. And for me, this is a big mistake because that means that you have a lot of people using hearing aids with a ticking bomb in the ear that can explode at any time. When I asked them why you are not calibrating for feedback, they told me that the feedback calibration limits how much gain they can give. And because of that, they cannot fit to target. I'm going to show you that in Resound, we don't have that problem. One of the things that I love about Resound is that the feedback calibration works great and you can still fit to target even if you are within the risk of feedback area. This is the first time I will put on the heating aids on the ears of my client. And note how both heating aids are on mute. Jack is not here, so I'm going to pretend to be Jack and, and do the feedback calibration on myself. Let me put on the heating aids first. Click on Calibrate. During calibration, the environment must be as quiet as possible. It is also important that you inform your patients of what's going to happen, because they also need to keep quiet. Tell them that this process takes just a few seconds, and it is important to ensure that the heating aids are perfectly fitted to their ears so that they can get the best speech clarity without feedback. And that's it. Here we have the results of the calibration. This is the risk of feedback area, and note the difference between the domes. Both domes feel very open and comfortable, but the tulip dome closes the ear canal a bit more, and therefore reduces the risk of feedback area. So now we are ready to activate the heating aids, let your client hear for the first time with the new heating aids, and hopefully get those emotional reactions that we all love. Welcome to the main screen of the fitting software. This is where you will spend most of the time programming the hearing aids. Again, it consists of three areas, the sidebar, the navigation bar, and the workspace where you can program all the features of the hearing aids. Let's do a little bit of wax on, wax off, so you become a software ninja. On the sidebar, you have information about your client and the status of the hearing aids. In this way, you can easily check how much battery the heating aids have. Right now, they are fully charged. And whether the heating aids are connected to the software, which is shown with this green icon. Next, we have the main navigation menu. Here, you have all the steps, part of your fitting process, arranged in a logical order from start to finish. Do you have to go through all these steps? No, of course not. You are free to move through the software and change only those settings that are relevant for your patient. In this video, I want to show you the ones that I find most relevant during a first fit. Let me go to Patient. Here you can select the target rule. Audiogram Plus is the one for Resound, but if you prefer to work with a different one, you can do it here. 
You can also select how much experience your client has with hearing aids. For someone who is new to hearing aids, I choose first time user, which allows me to give them the gains they need to restore audibility. But people react different to hearing aids, and uh, if they prefer to listen to softer sounds, you can choose Comfort User. Now, these settings affect not only the gain of the hearing aid, but also how the advanced features will be programmed. Let me go to Gain Adjustments, uh, because this is where the magic happens during a first fit. Here, you can adjust the gain of the hearing aids if necessary. This is the frequency range, and you can adjust three input levels for 50 low-level sounds, 65 for conversation-level sounds, and 80 for loud-level sounds. And here you can select if you want to do adjustments in steps of 1, 2 or 3 decibels up or down. In the middle, we have the number of programs in the hearing aid. Right now, I only have one program, but if you want to add more, I can click on this plus icon and select any of these predefined programs. Now, at this point, I will unmute the hearing aids and let my client hear with the hearing aids for the first time. And then I would do fine tuning if necessary. And I will also make sure that feedback doesn't happen. This is the risk of feedback area. And let me show you what happens if I increase the gain within this area. So I increase the gain, up, up, and oh, check this out. I cannot give more gain. But Miguel, how can it be? You told us that you can give all the gain you want. Well, if this happens to you, go to fitting and check whether feedback guard is enabled as it is right now here. Let me deactivate it. And hello, now there is no limit of how much gain you can give. Next, I want to show you one of my favorite features in ReSound to give your clients a fully personalized experience, and it is the environmental optimizer. In the old days, hearing aids had a volume control, and that was great because then you can increase the volume up and down, right? Up and down. But the truth is that people didn't want to use them. You know why? Because it feels very stupid to do this all day long. People don't want to touch their hearing aids. The environmental optimizer is an automatic volume control that you can program in up to seven environments, from quiet to very noisy situations. Also for a speech and noise in places with moderate or loud noise. And it gets better because in price point nine, you can also program how much noise reduction you want for each of these environments. So go to advanced features, select comfort, noise tracker, which is the name for the noise reduction algorithm. And now you can decide how much noise you want to attenuate in each of these situations. In other words, with the environmental optimizer and the noise tracker here, you have full control of the signal to noise ratio in up to seven different environments. In gain adjustments, now you will also find the acceptance manager. With this feature, you can help your clients get used to the sound of the hearing aids by gradually increasing the gain over a period of time. It's very easy to use. Uh, you can select for how long you want the adaptation to be. Then you can lower the gain to decide at what level you want to start from and activate the acceptance manager. And when you are happy, you can go to finalize, review your settings and save the session. These are some of the most important steps that you may want to consider during a first fit. You see? Easy, right? I hear you, I hear you, you want to know a bit more, so that's why I call this section Good to Know. You can save a lot of time in your daily fittings by configuring your preferences in SmartFit. Go to Edit, Preferences, and have a look at the different options. Uh, for example, I have told the software that for every first session, I want to go directly to gain adjustments so I can do fine tunings. And uh, for every follow-up session, I want the software to show me data logging when I start my session. And this is a new feature in SmartFit 1.16, which I really like. Here, you can define the default number of programs that you want to start with. And in my case, I only have one program, which is the all-around, but you may have other preferences. 
And in machine preferences, you can select, for example, your default target rule for both adults and pediatrics, as well as the default experience of your client during a first fit. And remember to restart the fitting software for all your changes to take effect. This feature has saved my life so many times. You know how sometimes you work with difficult clients who are never satisfied with the sound quality of the hearing aids? and you spend hours doing fine tuning without success until finally your client says, that's it, I love it. Great, but that was only one program. Do you have to go through the same nightmare for the rest of the programs? No, my dear Padawans, because you can use Auto Relate. Go to Tools, Auto Relate, and now you can copy all the fine tuning changes from your program to any program you want. Dude. Sometimes you may want to go back to the default settings recommended by the fitting software. The easiest way to do this is with Recalculate. Click on Tools, Recalculate, and now you can decide whether you want to reset just the gain levels or perhaps also the fine tuning. Click on Recalculate and voila! In this video, we have seen the most important steps during a first fit. But if you want to continue learning, please let us know which topics are important for you. For now, I hope that you all feel more confident to start using Resound Smart Fit in your daily fittings and continue making life sound better for more people. Happy fittings!